This is an interview intending to educate and inspire the audience about the business model of network marketing. Please keep in mind that although we love and appreciate the income option of network marketing, most people that try to be successful give up. Just because some of us have become successful does not mean you will. In fact, you probably won't. But you could. It's up to you. If you're watching this, you're either involved in network marketing or someone asked you to just take a look. And if you're like most people, you either really don't understand network marketing or you're pretty sure you do and you don't want to be involved. We get that. Most of us really didn't understand it or to the degree we did, we didn't want to participate either. I personally looked at it for three weeks before I saw what others were seeing. Curiosity has always been one of my advantages in life. And if you're curious enough to watch this video, you may see what some of us see. I sought out Bob Proctor to interview him on what he knew about network marketing. Bob is not in the profession, but he's coached hundreds of thousands of entrepreneurs, many of whom are very successful network marketers. Bob Proctor is one of the most impactful success coaches on the planet. He was featured in The Secret, the landmark movie seen by over 100 million people worldwide. Bob is the author of the classic bestseller, You Were Born Rich, and producer of dozens of transformational courses that have produced countless millionaires from all walks of life. Let's jump into Bob's studio in Toronto, Canada, and see what he has to say. I've had an interesting life. Up until I was 26, I was struggling. Uh, I was a kid that wouldn't listen to anybody, and I struggled. And I dropped out of school after a couple of months high school. I think they asked me to leave. <laughs> and, uh, and I just took any job I could get. So I worked in factories. And uh, then I went into the Navy. And I was sitting in a fire hall in a suburb of Toronto when a man gave me this book. This is Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. I was struggling. He gave me the book. And he said, if you'll do exactly what I tell you, you can have anything you want. My life changed just like that. My income went from $4,000 a year to over a million dollars a year in a relatively short period of time. And I did it cleaning offices, washing floors. If you know how to earn money, money will never bother you. Most people don't know how to earn it. School doesn't teach us. Anyway, I knew where the money was. But one day I thought, I'm, I'm not being very responsible. And I started to think, how the heck did this happen? I want to find out why did I change? How did I change? How did this happen? When's the first time somebody ever maybe tried to interest you in being a distributor or told you about the model? I can remember it very clearly, Richard. It was around 1961, maybe early 62. He was a distributor with Amway. Wow. I even remember him standing on Bayview Avenue in Toronto, <laughs> attempting to explain this to me with no pen and pad, nothing. He did not understand it. I know that. I think one of the problems in network marketing today is that the average person is not explaining it properly. If they were explaining it properly, I think a lot more people would grab it right. and would uh, fall in love with it because it offers what people really want in life. I think they want freedom of time. They want freedom of money. They want to have the money to do the things they want to do, and they have to have the time to do it. And so that they can live the life they dream about. There's not many people live that way. They're in the minority, for sure. What is it about network marketing compared to like getting in the industrial cleaning business or even getting in the seminar and program business, the writing books business, or any other well, business that might be appealing to the masses as a way for them to build wealth? I thought the answer first was get another office to clean. Because I got one office, I got $30 a month. Then I got another in 65 a month. So I'm up to an extra 100 a month. That was right at the start. And so I thought the answer was get another office to clean. I was exhausted. But I knew I was doing something wrong. And it was like a little voice in my head said, if you can't clean all of them, don't clean any of them. So I got all dressed up and I got other people cleaning offices. I had them cleaning offices in different places in the city and then first in another city and another city and another city. 
So I had multiple sources of income. I had thousands of people out there working, and I was getting a piece of the action from all of them. But they weren't. Right. That's the difference in network marketing. Every person in network marketing would be in the position I was in owning that cleaning company. Now, I've never it. thought of this that way before until you brought that up. But that's exactly what it was. So each one of them would have the opportunity to build a team of people that were cleaning offices, but they didn't have that opportunity. You can have your own organization. And the crazy part about it is if I bring you into my organization and you go and bring Betty in and Betty brings Harry in, Betty and Harry are in my organization too because they come through you. What do you think they're missing? What is it about network marketing they don't understand? I think it's a belief factor. Um, I think they look at the person upline as something going for them. They don't have going for themselves. Um, this is pretty true in everything. Um, I believe you can, but I can't. They're extras in somebody else's movie, really. But I think it's changing, and it's changing dramatically because it's becoming much more sophisticated. It's a profession today. You were in some gold there talking about the, the, the big epiphany, the breakthrough you had in the cleaning business was instead of trying to clean all the offices yourself, you went to people and said, you want to learn how to pay your mortgage? You want to buy a new car? I'll show you how. And you recruited them Absolutely. into the cleaning that's business. That's exactly what I did. And that's how you grew to a global company. Yeah. I'm a distributor in network marketing. And the biggest challenge that I see, Bob, with distributors is they love the product so much and the product's so tangible, it's so easy to talk about, that they try to clean all the offices themselves versus that the piece that I want you to drill down on is that piece where you saw yourself as having an opportunity you could share with other people. And the way you shared it was by asking them what they wanted. You'd make a really good network marketer. <laughs> I think I would. I, I know very well I would. And tell me some other things about network marketing that you find inspiring or advantageous. You can start on whatever basis you want. That's the beautiful part. We talked about me in the cleaning business, owning my own cleaning business, and having all kinds of cleaners because I couldn't do it all. So I couldn't do it. I decided I wouldn't do any of it. I'd be the same as a network marketer. He has a whole organization. He can't do it all. Has them all doing some of it. It's one of the beautiful things about the model that, like the way I explain it to people, is on a scale of one to ten, I could be a three or a four in my leadership, my influence, my motivation, my belief, all of those things. But I could end up with somebody on my team that's a seven or an eight or a nine or a ten, and they go build this explosive group, this big, that's all on my team. You don't benefit from that oh, yeah. in your business model, but in network marketing, we call it the tipping point. When you get two or 300 people on your team, the odds are at least one or two of them, they're better than you. Oh, without question. Listen, there's so much opportunity in network marketing. If a person's looking at this, they've got to get their ego out of the way. They've got to ask, what's more important? What I think of my position, what I think other people think of my position, or is the way I'm living more important? Because it offers such a phenomenal way of life. I think the only reason people don't do it is because they're misguided. They don't understand. And they don't really get the proper message. And they get the proper message the way they go. What's the spiritual connection between I'm somebody that has, I'm looking at network marketing because something's missing in my life. I found network marketing, but I'm not yet doing it. I'm not building a team. Well, What's the spiritual connection that might pop it for me? Well, I think what we've got to understand, it's spirit that makes us all the same. I don't care if you're black, white, male, female, tall, short, fat, thin. I don't care if you come from Africa or from... Uh, Allentown, Pennsylvania, it really doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what your culture is, what your background is. Spirit is 100% evenly present all places at the same time. We are all spiritual expressions. We've been blessed with talent and abilities and faculties beyond the scope of our imagination. We haven't even scratched what we're capable of doing. I believe that network marketing as a profession 
helps people understand that better, helps bring that to the surface, help people really take a look at who they are, what they are, and what they're capable of doing. One of the things you told uh, Kimmy and I when we were here in November, uh, we were talking about your career, which is global impact and really a world-renowned impact that you've had on millions of people in your career. And you do very well financially. And you told us, if you had it to do over again, you might do network marketing. Oh, I would. If I was to start all over again? Yeah. No question about it. That, that's what I would do. I would be in the same business I'm in now. I'd be in personal development. And um, um, I could build a much larger income. Now, I earn a very large income. And I don't want a bigger house. I'm in the house I'll probably die in. I have my own studio. I love it. Money just enables you to extend the good you do far beyond your own presence. They give a lot of money away. And so the more you earn, the more good you can do. Money's an instrument. That's all it is. Right. You know, having money isn't going to make you a better person. If you're not a nice person, you become despicable. You know, kind money, of just, money makes you more of what you are. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. You're a huge gift to mankind and Thank the you, network Richard. marketing profession. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching this. And feel free to share it. If you want to learn more about network marketing, grab a copy of The Four-Year Career and The Four-Year Career for Women from richardbrook.com. If you have questions or want to get started, get back with the person that sent you this interview.